What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, y'all. So, I'm going to just pull some cards for y'all and get a message out for y'all, okay? I definitely do hope the messages resonate for y'all, and I definitely do hope the messages are useful, all right? And with that being said, I'm not going to ramble on for too much. We're just going to jump right into it, all right? I hope you guys enjoy it. You have the tower coming out first. Okay, I got a message. Mm. I got one to say, nothing like that. Okay, I got a message, please. You have the Knight of Swords coming out. You have the Sun. You also have the Four of Cups. You have the Two of Swords coming out. You also have the Six of Pentacles, and you also do have the Devil. And you do also have the King of Pentacles. So you do have um, heavy Capricorn energy, but you also have Taurus uh, and Virgo. You also have the uh, Eight of Wands at the bottom. You also do have Leo energy here with the Sun. Scorpio and Aquarius with the Tower as well. I want to say there is a sudden change that is about to happen, or it already did. Um, something could have also been very like shocking or surprising. Something I feel like was brought to you, excuse me, by the way, was brought to your attention. I don't know, something... I feel like you don't know how to feel about something, a particular person or a situation. With the Six of Swords coming out, the Ace of Swords, you also have the Chariot, and you do also have the Six of Wands. Um, 66 could even be important. Six could be important. I feel like somebody's going to make a very important decision in like the midst of a lot of chaos. What's the King of Pentacles? You have the Hangman coming out. You also have the Knight of Cups and you have the Two of Wands. Yeah. It's like something could have been stagnant for you as well. Yeah, with the Emperor, but you take action on something and it puts you at basically with the love. It puts you at the right place at the at the right time. This could even put you in a situation where you meet someone who you end up, like, being with. You got Aries energy out here. Gemini. What's the lovers and the um, emperor? Or the emperor and the lovers, really? The five of wands. <coughs> oh, I say the four of wands. The five of wands. What's the five of wands? What's the five of wands? The Queen of Cups. What's the Devil card? The Knight of Pentacles. What's the Sun? We got Cancer Pisces, uh, Scorpio energy out here. With the Sun, you have the Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands. With the world. And what's the tower? The Eight of Swords. What's the Four of Cups? The Four of Swords. 44 could be significant. 4 could be significant. With the Empress at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like somebody can't... 
take back something they did or what they said about another person. And I honestly feel like something's like biting somebody in the behind with the three of swords and the page of cups. Is it the page of cups? Yeah, the page of cups. It's like somebody can't take back something they did or what they said. I want to say about somebody who is very successful or is going to be. With the eight of wands coming out, the death, yeah, and the judgment. It's like something or somebody that almost like had a lot of opposition against them. You literally with the star is like about to come out like on top, could be an Aquarius, a Libra with the judgment card. What's the death? With the two of cups. It's like somebody or situation is transforming with the seven of pentacles. It's almost like somebody, I don't know. What's the eight of wands in the judgment? The nine of wands. Yeah, it's like somebody was making decisions way too fast. They were deciding to do something, move in a certain way, say certain things, but it was way too... Somebody didn't have clearance to do something, to say something about another person. Could even be a high priestess. It's like somebody had a lot to say about somebody. Could even be a Pisces, and it was definitely hidden, definitely in secret. But whoever this individual is, this is somebody who's going to end up on top. This is somebody who's basically going to be... Oh, I want to say further ahead than a lot of people that was like talking against them. And I feel like these people or this person is intimidated with this nine of wands. I, mm, somebody is wishing that they didn't say something. Because it's almost like giving like a hate train or like, like heavy gossip with the three of cups, the temperance. Yeah, and the page of pentacles. Could be a Sagittarius with the nine of swords. It's almost like somebody has to swallow their words. Somebody has to really, it's like somebody made their bed and they have to lie in it. What's this queen? What's the power lines in the queen of cups? You have the justice card coming out also with the six of cups. What's the justice in the six of cups? With the world. Yeah, I feel like somebody's about to receive a lot of recognition. Like a lot. And I feel like it's about to leave certain individuals very, not even upset. Because these could even be people that you once helped as well with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Like these are people you once looked out. I don't know. The cards want to fall out of my hands and everything, man. Can I get some messages here? What's the two of cups? The nine of cups. And the nine of cups. The ace of pentacles with the star. Literally. With the hermit. I feel like somebody's about to get like a new job or some sort of like new opportunity that's really about to put them like a head, like I, I don't really know how to even put it into like word. I feel like there was a thing where people had a lot to say about a specific individual, like their worth ethic, how much money they made. Like this is something like that. Like somebody was like, could have been calling somebody broke. Like, I don't know what this is, but whoever this person is, they were, they were like a diamond in the rough type of thing. With the, five, with the five of pentacles coming out, you did have the 10 of pentacles in reverse, but I'm not gonna take it. What's the five of pentacles with the 10 of pentacles? What's the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles? It's like people could have left you. I have no idea. Because it's almost like people looked at a certain individual like this person needs me. This person, yeah, with the five of swords. What's the five of pentacles with the ten of pentacles? Mm, mm -mm. The ten of wands. With the two of yeah. 
And I honestly feel like however people was like thinking about you or how they were viewing you is actually how they should actually be how they're viewing themselves. Oh my goodness, this is what's the ten of wands with the two of pentacles? The nine of swords with the queen of swords. This could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I have no idea what this is. With the five of swords. There could be a thing where somebody even took money or stole money from a whole nother person. Yeah, with the strength. Somebody is not trying to like, yeah, with the seven of swords. I feel like somebody like deceived somebody or lied to them. Yeah, with the Five of Cups after that. This could be a Leo. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But this person's not trying to say anything, or they're definitely not trying to. What's the strength card? This, pers this person could be blocked. You have the King of Cups, and it is coming out in reverse, but I'm not going to take it. Yeah, this person with the Page of Swords. This is somebody who is trying to block a whole nother individual. I don't, and I honestly feel like this isn't, this is more than one person. Like literally with the King of Swords, with the moon, this is, I don't know who you are, right? <laughs> like I don't know you personally, but I feel like there's a thing, yeah. You have people who secretly view as like competition. And I feel like it's mainly because people, you're very mysterious, whether you know that or not. You can have long black hair, you don't have to. Um, or your hair could just be very dark. It's something about having very dark features, very dark hair. Um, people feel like you know a lot. And I feel like it is intimidating to them I, because I feel like people, <clears throat> people feel like you see right through them. People feel like you, oh my goodness, I don't know what this is. But you definitely do have people who are very intimidated by you. Um, again, it's your mind. I want to say people even look at you as if you have like superpowers. But mm -hmm. like people feel like you see right through. I'm getting um, right through me by Nicki Minaj. It's like that's how people feel, or this is how a, pers a person feels with the Knight of Wands. Mm. This is a lot of energies. <laughs> um, yes, with the Five of Swords and the Magician in Reverse. With the, I don't know. Because it's not making sense to me. <laughs> What's the Knight of Wands with the Five of Swords? The three of pentacles. Yeah, this is more. This is with the eight of. It's not going. Whatever people are hoping to do or wanting to say about you, I feel like it's not going to work. None of this will work. But I feel like, yeah, you have like jealous energies. I feel like these are people that you don't like. This could just be like purely online. Especially if you work online, you're seen online, you're a figure online. You don't even have to be a big figure. You could be small, big, in the middle, however, have you. There's people like intimidated by you, very jealous, um, just envious. I don't know what this is about. Um, and I want to even say these could even be like friendly faces, faces that smile in your face. Or it's just like nice to you, but they're very jealous. I don't know. What's the three of pentacles with the will? Yeah, these are like people watching like your come up. Yeah, with, with, oh my goodness. Because I honestly want to say you, the, the the people that are watching you with the Ace of Cups coming out are people that you wouldn't even imagine is watching you in this way if that makes sense. And I'm hoping that that does with the moon. Like this could even be people that you have love for or you could have seen a future with. What's the will in the Ace of Cups? Like people that you didn't like you thought you were always going to be like friends with as well or they were always going to be in your life literally with the page of sword 
this is gonna be people watching like your your relationships as well, who you're connecting with, or who you're gonna connect with next. Yeah, with the seven. I feel like you definitely are protected. This is wild. This is wild. With the high priestess. You could feel this as well. What's this high priestess? You do have Pisces energy. What's this high priestess? Like, you could feel this. What's the high priestess? The Eight of Cups. And the Hermit. That's the thing. I'm not going to take it, though. And I honestly want to say a lot of people, um, y'all, I don't know. It's like people, especially if you have, like, intuition, right? Or I don't even know how to. People want you to leave behind, like, what you know. I don't know what this is about. With the high priestess and the eight of cups. Especially with the hermit at the bottom. You could be a Virgo or a Pisces. You don't have to be. Um, trust yourself. Because I feel like people don't like that. Um, and this is honestly not to bring anybody down as viewing this. Honestly, this is... Because with the eight of cups and the high priestess, people want you to leave behind your intuition. People want you, especially if you come from a background where you did second guess yourself. Um, you could not have believed in yourself 100%, right? Um, I feel like everybody goes through that. No matter how healed somebody comes off, they still second guess themselves. Beyonce most likely second guesses herself. Um, but don't. Because I feel like that's what people want you to do. People don't want you to trust those inklings. People don't want you to trust you, your intuition. People don't want you to think for yourself, ultimately. I'm being completely honest. People want to be able to walk all over you. I don't know what this is. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. People like it. Like, I don't know. The energy is very disturbing. Um, it's a factuation, I feel like, when it comes to being able to manipulate your energy. Um it gives a little bit of a pervert. I ain't going to lie. The energy is very creepy. Because um, I feel like it's something where people want you to be naive. People want to be able to get over on you. They do. And I feel like it's because they, they know you have... I don't know. Because I honestly want to say people know who you are. Especially if you do have intuition or you do have inklings. You do catch people. Pe people wonder where it comes from. People wonder how you do it. And I'm, I don't know, I'm being completely honest. People are hoping that one day this gift, this ability leaves. I, and it's multiple people. Mm. What's this high pieces in the Eight of Cups? You have the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. 77 could be significant, seven could be as well. What's the Seven of Swords? The tennis. You are protected, especially because I feel like there's one person in particular, it could be a fire sign, a Leo Aries Sagittarius, who is wanting to start something with the Ace of Wands with you, but it's to deceive you, to hurt you. But I honestly want to say you are protected here with the Seven of Wands. Whatever somebody's trying to do to you, yeah, they're not going to be able to do it. And I feel like people are so envious of how comfortable you are or how comfortable you're going to grow to be. But it's more so with yourself. Because it's something where it's like people don't even care what you obtain. Literally, with the, it's all about you. It's like people want to affect how you feel about yourself, how you view yourself. It has nothing to do with what you have. It's all about how you feel about yourself. People want to attack how you personally feel about yourself. Especially this one individual. Because it's mm, with the Ten of Cups in reverse. But I'm not going to take it in reverse. What's the Ten of Cups? Like, these are shady characters. With the higher friend coming out, you can even work with these individuals. The Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. And what makes this even sadder is people know that... Oh, my goodness. It's almost like people know once you made... Yeah, with the Four of Wands in reverse, it's like people realize once you kind of made your mind up about them, especially if you don't trust them, it's a dub. It's kind of over. Like, it's like once that mask comes off and it's like people are revealed to you, you're done. 
And I feel like people hate that because you are a queen of cups. King of man or female, your your energy is very um polarizing. Um it's like a one of a kind type of thing. And it's like I feel like people especially if you come off I don't know what this is. You come off naive or like young. It's like people their first reaction, some, I feel like these are people who are very low vibrational. It's like the moment they meet you, they feel like they can deceive you. And it's like the moment they try to, it's like something happens to where it's like you kind of tell them or show them like they didn't really get one up on you. You was watching them the whole time. Could be a tourist with the higher thing. Last few cards. This was wild. I will honestly say... And this isn't even to freak anybody out. Just be mindful who you connect with, who you share your business with, um, like your personal business. Yeah, with the four in reverse, and you had the Queen of Pentacles coming out of reverse. Again, I'm not going to take them, but yes, continue taking those leaps of faith. Because um, I got completely different messages with it in reverse. But no, continue to take those leaps of faith. Continue to walk in alignment. I don't know if you can see, because it's. I feel like this is everywhere. Um, I just want to be able to get everything out all at once. Because um, I honestly want to feel like, I want to say you're on the right path. Whether you are earth sign or not, you're on the right path. You're on a path that's suited for you, that was kind of written for you. And I feel like people are really, it's something about a purpose. With the seven of cups, it's something about a purpose and somebody walking and, and really realizing what like somebody was shown their purpose and they're walking in that. And I feel like there's jealousy because of it. Because somebody found what they were supposed to do or like what they're really good at in life. And I feel like people are envious of this. But I feel like people, especially in, in whatever, yeah, with the magician, you are the creator of your own life and people are seeing it. And it's almost like they're baffled because things could come in for you. Like your manifestations can come in very like rapidly. So fast to where you could not even be realizing it half the time. But other people are. Ah, all right, we're going to end it. <laughs> you got the hermit, the seven of cups. Hold on. You also have the page of wands and the nine of pentacles. People feel like you're very st oh my goodness. You could definitely be a Virgo. You don't have to be. You could have heavy Virgo, like I want to say in your chart. People feel like you're 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 good at a lot of things. People, I don't know what this is like about, especially if you are like quiet, you're an introvert. It's something about being like an introvert, introvert. People feel like like you work very hard behind the scenes and then it's like you pop out with these like new ideas, these extravagant things. Like I don't, just a bunch of new stuff. Like people feel like the, it's like people get very scared or nervous when they don't hear from you or you disappear because they know you're about to pop out with like something brand new. People get very nervous when you're quiet, when you're silent, when they, when, when they haven't seen you. Like when you went full on because you're working, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, could even be in your house. You could be studying things. People know for a fact, when you disappear, you're working. And if not like on something, you're working on yourself, working on healing yourself. And people, love, I'm going to be completely honest. If you feel like you're like childish, I don't know. There's a vibrancy about you. Like, yo, you are a phenomenal person. I don't know. Whoever's watching this this time, watching this video. Um... Don't change yourself, especially because you're very youthful. You're very pretty, handsome, however you want to put it. You look very young. No matter like your age, you look very young. And I feel like people can even mistake you for being younger than what you actually are. <laughs> especially, I don't know, there's something about still getting carded at like bars or something. Like you could still get carded when you go out. People could still look at you like you were a bit young as well. I want do not change. Because I feel like with this reading, there's energies that really want you to kind of neglect yourself. Neglect your abilities, neglect your per like this is people who ah, these are like van energy vampires. Like these are people who are very low vibrational, um, and who are very just 
intimate I, I don't there's a real bothered <laughs> bothered energy bothered feeling about somebody enjoying and stepping into like their life's purpose something that they're really good at and i'm here to really tell you like do not change anything about yourself um even if things get rough even if you hear different things that people are saying about you because there was like a heavy gossiping type of energy and i want to even say like gossip that could not even be true these could even be people that don't even know you again that see you on instagram or facebook or wherever you're on tiktok i ever have you youtube and i feel like these people have a lot to say because they're jealous <laughs> that's one and i feel like they're jealous of the potential that they honestly do not have um <laughs> like i don't i don't know how else to really put it that's why I'm like, I just continue to work hard um, and do not neglect yourself, especially not your hopes and your dreams. Because I honestly feel like you have people who are, y'all, I ain't even, like, I'm not going to hold y'all the energy. Like, people want you to stop. They want you to stop. Um, people who are your ops, people who are in competition with you, they want you to stop. They feel like you're moving way too fast. Um, and it's almost like they're playing catch up. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Um, and of course, take everything with a grain of salt. I definitely do hope the messages resonated for you guys in any way, shape, or form that they were supposed to. And I hope the um, messages were just useful for you guys and all, okay? You guys will see more of me. Um, I didn't forget about you guys. I don't know. It's just I know things are a little slow right now, but no, that they, they definitely will pick up. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support. Again, you all still continue to show me. And yeah, until next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>